In this video, I will be discussing one of the important uh, decoupling technique in carbon-13 spectra, the off-resonance decoupled carbon-13 spectra. I have already uploaded a video about broadband decoupling technique in carbon-13 spectra in this channel. See, because of the low natural abundance of carbon-13 nuclei, it is very unlikely to find two carbon-13 atoms near each other in the same molecule. And so, we do not sp see spin-spin coupling between two neighboring carbon atoms in a carbon-13 spectrum. Because of low natural abundance of carbon-13 nuclei, it is very unlikely to find two carbon-13 atoms near each other within the same molecule. And that is why we do not see any spin-spin coupling between neighboring carbon atoms. Okay. But there, will, there may be heteronuclear coupling that is in between that is between carbon 13 atoms and hydrogen to which it is bound such types of uh, coupling is called heteronuclear coupling carbon hydrogen coupling you you can see in the case of uh, proton coupling it is homonuclear coupling that is proton proton coupling okay but in the carbon 13 coupling the coupling is in between carbon 13 and hydrogen okay such uh, coupling is called heteronuclear coupling but you know the carbon proton coupling is actually a one bond coupling carbon single bond hydrogen it is a one bond coupling carbon proton coupling is a one bond coupling and its coupling constant is very large that is in the order of 100 to 250 hertz that is why the difference between chemical shift delta nu and the coupling constant j is very small okay that is why there is a very possibility for signal overlapping or overlapping between the multiplets okay because of the difference between chemical shift and the coupling constant is very small that is the reason why it is required to find certain decoupling techniques okay here in this video i will discuss one of the important decoupling technique called off resonance decoupling in carbon 13 nmr spectra in off resonance decoupling techniques it is achieved by irradiating the sample at a frequency near to the resonance frequency of proton not the frequency same as the pro frequency proton needed but it is the frequency nearer to the resonance frequency of protons okay that is the off resonance techniques due to this coupling between the proton directly bonded to carbon 13 are retained while the coupling beyond one bond are usually removed this removal simplifies the carbon 13 spectrum in other words the coupling due to carbon 13 hydrogen coupling that is hydrogen directly attached to carbon are coupled and is observed but the other couplings like carbon 13 single bond carbon single bond hydrogen that is two bond coupling uh, carbon 13 with the proton of the next carbon atom and carbon 13 uh, c single bond c single bond h that is three bond coupling carbon 13 with the proton of the third carbon atom are removed or not observed in this mode of decoupling one of the important peculiarity is carbon 13 signals are split into multiplets consisting of n plus one component peaks that is first order splitting where n is the number of proton that is directly attached to carbon 13 for example in the case of ch2 group carbon is directly attached with two proton and hence there are uh, two protons and hence the number of and hence the number n is equal to two and here the carbon signal splitted into a triplet because of the coupling between this carbon atom and the two attached hydrogen atom okay see for example the off resonance decoupled spectra of one propanol it is the off resonance decoupled spectra of one propanol you know the formula or i mean the structure of one propanol is this and so three types of carbon are there 
this CH2 carbon and this CH2 carbon and this CH3 carbon. First, this CH3 carbon, you know, this carbon is directly attached to three hydrogen atom and hence it is coupled with this proton forming a quartet according to n plus 1 rule. And so we will get a quartet for this CH3 group. And you can see here is a CH2 group. This carbon attached to two carb two proton and so N is 2 and according to N plus 1 rule the CH2 group gives a triplet or the carbon spectra split into a triplet. But in this case this CH2 group is directly attached to the CH2 and OH. Uh, here is an electronegative atom and so the chemical shift is or the, it is de-shielded and so the value around 100 ppm and this CH2 group gives this triplet because carbon is directly attached to two proton according to n plus one rule it gives a triplet okay it is the off resonance decoupled spectra of one propanol another important uh, example of off resonance decoupled spectra is the spectra of uh, one two two trichloropropane see the spectra it is the spectra of 1, 2, 2 trichloropropane. Here there are three types of carbon atom denoted as 1, 2 and 3. 1 and 2 are CH2 groups. In the case of carbon atom 1, it is attached to two hydrogen atom directly. And hence, carbon atom couples with this directly attached hydrogen atom to give a triplet. It is the triplet of first carbon atom. But the second carbon atom, it is a quaternary carbon atom. That is why it has no hydrogen atom directly attached. And so it gives only a singlet. It is a singlet of second carbon atom. But the third carbon atom, that is of CH3 group, carbon directly attached to three hydrogen atom. That is why carbon signal split it into a quartet. You can see the quartet of third carbon atom here. Okay. With this explanation of off-resonance decoupled spectra, I conclude my video. Thank you for watching.